Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took the background out of this window and replaced it with something else, but kept all of the texture of the glass here. So it looked like the glass was still there. Um, so it was pretty easy. Just, we're gonna start by making a few cutouts. The first thing we need to do is get the selection brush and cut out the frame. So you just go around the frame and the mug. That's gonna be one section. And um, it's selected way too much. So if it selects too much, hold the Alt key and go over the parts you don't want to the selection. We don't want any of this glass or any of this. We only want the wood here. And we don't want any of this little strip right there. That's gonna go with the glass. So we just want the wood, all of this out here and the mug and the handle. And I already did this because it was kind of hard. I had to zoom in and it took a while to get everything just right. So this is what you should end up with. Okay, now we need to cut out the glass separately so it's its own layer. And to do that really easily, all you need to do is select the one you just did. I named it frame. <clears throat> Come up here to select and go to selection from layer and it will select everything that you just did. And then come down to the background layer, the original layer, and come up here to select again and go invert pixel selection. And now it selects just the glass and everything that you didn't select the first time. And then just do control J to make a copy and it only copies what's selected. So control D gets rid of your selection. And that's what you end up with. So you don't have to do the whole selection brush thing twice. So we are just going to use these two layers here, the frame and the new one that we're gonna call window. Let me change it that way. We know what's what. And we're gonna leave the original background off and we're just gonna pull it all the way to the bottom. We don't need it. Probably delete it when we're done because we don't need it anymore. All right, first thing I wanna do is replace the background. So with the window selected, come up here to filter and frequency separation. So this is going to take the texture off of the glass for us. So you can move this radius up as much as you want. The more you move it up, the more of the trees you're gonna get. But in this particular picture, it doesn't matter because I'm replacing it with trees anyway, and so you can't really tell. But some you can, some you can't. You just want to make sure that the dirt and the stuff that was etched on the glass is really more pronounced. You want to, we want to see that. So we are going to leave it like this and click apply. And then over here, it's going to make a high frequency and a low frequency layer. So we are going to get rid of the low frequency and the high frequency. We're going to change that to glass so that we know. And now we are going to turn on our new picture. So this is the picture that I'm going to use. It's just aspen trees with some morning light coming in. This picture I took the other day when we were camping. So I'll put this one on my website so you can have a copy if you want to follow along with this video. And uh, the picture, the original picture with the mug and the frame. I found that on Pixabay, so I'll put a link to that too. So all you have to do is bring it in. I just went to file <clears throat> and click place and then just found it on my computer and brought it in and make sure it's behind the glass in the frame. And now you can see that all of the texture is still going to be there and it just looks like dirt and stuff all over the window. So now we need to make the aspen trees look a little further away because they look like they're right on the window. We don't want that. So go to layer, new live filter layer and blur, Gaussian blur. You can also just go to filters and do blur that way. But if I change my mind, I want to be able to change the amount of blur I put on there. <laughs> so, cause some, you know, I might decide I like it just that blurry and you know, you can make any amount of blur you want. And sometimes I do change my mind. That's why I have so many layers, but the more layers, the more your computer has to work. So keep that in mind. We're just gonna make it blurry enough so that it looks far away, but you can still see what it is. All right, and now we need to take care of this window and mug. The lighting is terrible. So we are gonna come up here to layer, new light filter layer and lighting, and make sure it's only on the frame 
and get that out of our way. And we're just going to take this and turn it so that it's pointing the direction the sun is coming. The sun is coming from the top, right? So we want the angle of the light to be coming down like that. And just play around with it till you get it the way you want. We want it to look like it's just coming in the window and just touching the mug. So we want most of this to be pretty dark. And let me bring this middle one down. There we go. And we want it to be dark everywhere except just where the sun might be hitting the cup. Or at least I do. You can do your lighting however you want. Something like that. Maybe we'll move it a little further away. Something like that. And I mean, that's, that's really how easy it is. There's one more thing that I'm going to do though. And that is, I'm going to make it look like it's raining. I've, I've found this easy way to make it look like it's raining. So we're gonna come to layer and new light filter layer, distort and displace. And it's gonna bring this up and we want this to be moved down below the glass, below the frame, and just above the aspen trees. We want above the background. Now click on load map from file. And then I use this one called Many Lights. And you can find that on my website. I'll put the link for that too. So if you click on that, and then just move this up. So it makes the little dots that were on the picture look like raindrops on the window. And you can make a lot or a little and it also starts to distort the background and so it looks like the rain is kind of falling down that's probably too much though let's move it down a little and now if you want you could put it on the glass but it will um it will kind of mess up the etching but we can kind of fix that to do that just take it take this displacement map and move it up one layer so it's above the glass. See, and I like that better because it makes the dirt look like it's wet, which would happen if it was raining on the window. But it kind of ruins the etching, which would not look like rain. You know, it wouldn't distort it with rain. But if you wanted to change that, you just get the brush tool. Just push B, get the brush tool, and get black paint. Make sure you've got black paint. And we want a hard brush. So... Make sure you've got some kind of hard brush, but not too big. And then just paint over. There we go. Just paint over the parts that were etched as carefully as you can. And then it will keep all of the dirt looking like it's rained on, but the etching won't. So it'll look more realistic. I like to watch that. <laughs> That's fun. All right. And my computer's having a hard time processing this, so we're not going to do the whole thing. But you could also do the sides here. Because um, the sides, that stuff that we left on the sides, looks it's supposed to look like old paint or something. And so you could actually, we, you could just paint down it. We want to leave some of the bubbles, but if it's too wobbly in spots, just paint a little bit over it to straighten it back out there. But leave, leave the raindrops though. All right, so you can go over that as carefully as you want. And so that's about all there is to that. That's not too bad. You can always change out the picture by just deleting the aspens and inserting anything in there that you wanted and then adding any other adjustments or layers or anything else you want to it. So I hope you found something useful in this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more, and thanks for watching.